Welcome back. The countdown to class is on as, as we get ready for the first day of school all this week on Winging It. We're talking about everything that parents need to know. And yep. one of the most important things is your child's relationship with their teacher and right. therefore your relationship with your child's teacher. Mm -hmm. Parenting expert Mary Frances Bear is on the couch. Welcome back. Thank you. Good to see you. <laughs> and you told us that this is really something that you work with families a lot about as you're preparing for that first day. Absolutely. For a lot of families I work with, we create what I call a snapshot of the child. Mm -hmm. So just a really quick information sheet on the child that includes a variety of different information that's helpful with the child to adapt to the new school year and adapt to the teacher. And so this is something that you actually should take a snapshot of, uh, uh, that you should write down like a document yeah, and right. give to the child's teacher. Do right. you think that you should do that a couple days, you know, like as in the week leading up to when school is starting? What I would do is I would email them personally, okay. or if you don't have an email address, I would write it out. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the things it would include is like, um, child strengths and what motivates the child to learn. Um, sensitivities, so mm -hmm. different things that the child may be sensitive to in the classroom or worries or fears. Should I keep going? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes, keep going. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, so following sensitivities, meaning like if they're nervous about the cafeteria, if it's too loud, to let the teacher know that because there might be some anxiety building up to that. Okay, so just to give a little heads up. A little mm -hmm. heads up. Or if the child needs some different physical things to help them manage themselves in the classroom, meaning like they need, might need to walk around or they might need a fidget toy to sit with while they're in the classroom to help them learn. And we're talking ages here, like uh, we're focusing on like elementary school age yeah. for these snapshots. It's like what age should maybe the parent kind of step away and kind of let the, the student get to know the teacher on their own level? Well, I think for elementary school, you know, they're so young and you really do want to give specifics about what has worked in the past for the child and what their fears or sensitivities are mm -hmm. and also what soothes them. Mm -hmm. But for older kids, I would still shoot them a simple email if, there's, like, if there are worries about friendships or test anxiety. Mm -hmm. So I still think, again, we're trying to help the child adapt to the new teacher in the classroom. So a, a heads up is always important, mm -hmm. even if they are in middle school. So you think that teachers definitely want to hear from the, the student's parents and family to kind of just understand each individual student? Or do you think it can be sometimes too much information for a teacher? I don't, I think it's important to tell them, of course, like safety issues. So mm -hmm. if there's like food allergies, but yeah, I, I do think it's important that you do give them a heads up about what works for the child. Um, and like I said, what some of their sensitivities are really at any age. We don't want to give them too much information. And especially we don't want to be like that parent. Like, yeah. oh, no, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to hover or, but you all, and you don't want to be negative ever about your child. You always want to frame things in a positive way. Like a little publicist for your exactly. kids. Exactly. <laughs> well and speaking of being a publicist for your kids, again, we have to just bring in Charlie Come and Joey really here, quick. Mary Come Friend, on. of course, they're a wonderful parenting expert. <laughs> and this is who makes her an expert. Yeah. Charlie and Joey are getting ready for their first day yeah. of class. Where do you guys go to school? Where do you go to school? Small school. Boy. Smallwood. Smallwood. Okay, yep. hi to everyone who Wait goes to, to Smallwood camera, with Charlie and Joey. You'll see them on your first day of school. Thanks, Mary Fran. We'll, of course, bring you on throughout the school uh, year wonderful. for much more parenting advice. But right now, let's go over to Emily Lenahan and the